You are fast viewers, but not fast enough. Hello, this is the Mysterious JG. I want to say thank you very much for watching my channel. I hope you guys are having a <laughs> off chance that anyone's still watching this far and on Christmas. A Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope 2015 is going great for everybody. Um, and if you are watching this, it's a classic JG blast from the plas plast plasma. Uh, cipher. If you're watching this as a classic, a blast from the past, then God bless you, sir or ma'am, because I do like it when actually <laughs> the notion that people are still watching my LPs more than like, you know, three weeks after I issue a video is just really nice. Anyway, uh, some mad scientist is being quite bothersome, and uh, we need to take sorry ass out, so we're gonna work on that. One way we're gonna do that is to climb up on the ceiling. Grab that. They better have some remixed version of the Red Dragon theme before this is over. That is the that is the bomb diggity. That theme rules. Reflective uh, blasts are beautiful thing. You guys spawning infinitely over there? Don't spawn infinitely. Is that blast hurting me? No, it's just the damn flying guys. Oh, save point, kind of vaguely hidden away and all that. Is this Graviton stuff going on here? I believe there's Graviton stuff going on here. Kind of a neat little gameplay mechanic they added this old Graviton business. It's Gravity Troops. Shit. It's a little disorienting having these things, uh... Are you guys following the action? I can follow the action. Sometimes it's actually easier when you're playing than when you're watching to figure out what the heck's going on with effects like this. Stop shooting freezy shit at me! It is not helping with the whole Gravitron situation. Ceilings are also really disorienting me right about now. Don't stand around looking at the scenery when you're in the middle of the like vertical swamp action. Gravitron chamber coming up. It's a disorienting little boss battle. Pretty easy the first time. Um, and I'm both taking and dealing a lot of damage. I don't seem to know... I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do to avoid damage. I'm just trying to deal it faster than I take it. It's working so far. I think it's not safe to be on it when it glows like that, but I don't know for sure. The smartest thing to do seems to be to jump and try to get into its field so that you're clinging to it and then do this. But that wasn't actually working there at all, so maybe it's not that smart. Getting the panther to run around on the surface seemed to work surprisingly well. Uh, I don't know if that did anything actually. Oh yeah, why aren't I just throwing kunai's at it from like wherever? I 
Oh, because it's making me run out of energy really quickly and not damaging it that much. It was actually a bad idea, and I need to stop. I was winning, and uh, I'm still winning, but... <sighs> Alright, go back to it. It was seemed like it was safe. I blew it up and then... Oh. <laughs> we die together, Gravitron. You and me. Let us meet death's sweet embrace as one. So I wonder if that... Uh, I wonder if I fight it again or not. I got a trophy for defeating it. Yeah, I'm fighting it again. It wouldn't really be fair for me not to fight it again, probably. I don't think that Cypher's going to make much of a difference, but... I kind of feel like uh, freezing it wasn't happening. Is it reversing gravity? Is that what's happening when I get projected off? Actually, this is killing it faster than anything else. I need to stick with that because it's working. Yeah, when it starts glowing blue like that, it casts me off. So I just gotta warp back into it, into it, and then do this some more. And that was way easier than I made it last time. Escape? Is that the plan now? Where do I escape to? So, uh, Dr. Douchebag, you got a message for me now that I defeated your precious Gravitron? Guess not. Just knock it off, guys. Seriously. Okay, so I'm going to climb my way down the, through the reverse gravity. But Well, I'm going to have to kill you, because you won't let me get on to what I need to be doing. Now, uh, where's my little flashy? Okay, I'm, I am meant to be backtracking this way, so that's... We know that much, anyway. You just fall so fast once you, uh... No, what the... Ah. Get it eventually. Just need a little patience. Is it? Is it really? Oh, hey, this guy's all mad now, probably. My creation! My creation! Is it real? Behold! My greatest creation! And he brings out his six year old daughter. It's a beautiful moment. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, hey! Dude. Mecha Pong! Gorilla Mechanical! Tomorrow, I'm not so sure. Ow. Damn, it's fucking me up. Yeah, 
It is fucking me up, something spears. Doing pretty awful here, actually. Cannot be in its path when it does all that nonsense. Can I not climb this wall? Yeah, that's what I need to do. It's like old school Mega Man stuff. I just need to. Well, old school Mega Man X stuff, I guess. Oh, this is new. How is he not hurt by my, uh, Panthro friend? My Panther pal. by a giant robot monkey after all that's happened. This is, no. This is not acceptable. Maybe I'm supposed to be destroying these things for hell. I don't know. It's not acceptable for me to be defeated by a giant robot monkey. A freaking Stridermatic. I'm not even the mysterious JG playing a Stridermatic. I've become Stridermatic at this point. If you were in the room with me, I'm wearing the Stridermatic costume. I've gone completely fucking nuts, folks. You don't understand. All right. I'm vaguely under the impression that this game was made by Americans who were big fans of Strider growing up as kids. So to blame Japan for this, directly for this, is probably unfair. But the Japanese obsession with robot monkeys is becoming a problem. Okay, I gotta switch to this. Maybe I just... Maybe I'll stick with, uh, I'll try to kill it with these, uh, slidey guys, or the... I don't know why don't people understand something, 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 weird songs, I don't know the words. You can't try to understand, your songs are back on me. He will dance in your grave! Not quite the same. I will not die by his or any other No, no, damn it. Oh, he didn't like that at all. Not quite going right yet. Maybe I want to stick them with explodey guys. Well, I gotta get my way out of here first.
did not need to start with less than full health for this monkey pawn boss fight. I would also be embarrassed for, um, I made fun of his name Solo, but the concept of a flying, laughing bounty hunter wasn't a problem. I'd hate for him to be supplanted as the toughest boss by Monkey Robot. And dance on your grave. It's his thing. So if I run away from, I can aim with the right arrows, can I? I will not die by his or any other's my nose here. Probably the smarter to just, yeah, get underneath them. Don't get caught between where the fist land and he shows up. Okay, I'm, again, I'm making this tougher than it is. I don't like whatever that was. Yeah, go ahead and jump up in the ceiling again. That was pretty good, too. Definitely making this tougher than it is. There you go. Good job. You know, you know, you got to shock the monkey. Even though I use explosive power, but. I don't be. I'm a guy with legs. Sorry to anybody out there with legs who's upset. Hey. Oh, Lord Mayo's upset with this guy. Lord Mayo is not happy. He's like, I apologize for that strider. He does not speak for the Mayo organization. Whoa. Oh, no. Super robot monkey? Hey, I'm not imperfect. I'm perfect cell. I should be like uh, imperfect cell. Sorry, robot monkey. You deserve it better. Hmm. No current objective. Just gonna hang it out. Just. Floating around, here and there, wherever the wind blows. I'm kind of disappointed with Lord Mayo's voice. He sounds like kind of a normal dude. I was hoping he'd be like really echoey and creepy. Taking the music. Aww. I'm really sick of the green goo 
big set of enemies to tell you the truth. I guess it gives us a better idea of how evil Lord Mayo is that he's doing this to his own army. But the fact that we know they're not really soldiers so much as clones kind of don't want to offend any clones out there, but it, <laughs> it kind of doesn't feel like it matters that he's treating them as badly now that we know that they're being manufactured. You wonder what happens uh, at the end of uh, Star Wars. You know, they, which current, I mean, I guess the new movies that are going to come out are set after Jedi, but, uh, I mean, what happens to all the stormtroopers once the Emperor's dead? I mean, they're... They kind of can't help how they were created. Deep, deep ethical dilemmas of the Star Wars universe. I see he is still in control, friend. Ah, well, we're working on it, friend. I have destroyed his beast, but access is still blocked. I require another key. Ah, key personnel. Yes. Seek out the shop in Jerome. He is in the same nails. He lives in the underground. But he's not one of us. He is loyal to Mayo and believes him a true god. So why is he gonna he help me? Has what you need, but getting it from him won't be easy. Good luck, Strider. And super cool mask, Strider. I like it a lot. Recover the magnetic cipher. Well, that would be the last one. That's the one that's gonna open up those last few doors that we can't do anything with. Kind of hoping the freezy crabs could be defeated with this thing without needing a bunch of extra charge up because it would make kind of for some reason to me it makes sense. If you'd like freeze dry their shells or something, they get freezer burn. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. And, uh... Oh, man, there's power up at the end of all that that I just ignored. I thought this was the alternate path. Now I'm thinking that this was the primary path and the... Power up was kind of off to the side. Although they kind of sort of make this hidden if you're not paying attention to the minimap. Darn it all. Health nut. Oh, if only that were true. I am not a real life health nut, folks. You can tell if you sound like a girlish figure. Unfortunately, that girl is Mama Cass. The late Mama Cass. <laughs> <laughs> and I look the way that she does now. Okay, so, uh... Yes, I'm implying that I'm an overweight female corpse, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas. Not sure that there's a lot of purpose served by some of this. It's like zipping back and forth to areas that are... Oh wow, I just flipped right through that guy without even giving him the time of day. Sorry, sewer crab, who's no longer in the sewer. I got no time for you. Got me any intel, though. Not like I'm reading those, but... Mayo exists. It's like, how dare you set me on fire and then wander away. Maximum health, that's good to have, though. Those are the kind of power-ups, you know. If I'm missing a little enemy intel at the end or one of the alternate costumes, 
I'll feel like I missed a secret, and you know, I'll feel kind of bad. Like, oh, I wish I'd gotten that secret. But if I'm missing like health power-ups and energy at the end, I'll be like, the game will actually be a little bit harder, and I'll feel like I missed something that you're probably meant to be able to find without having a ludicrous knowledge of the game. Guys, ready to kill you. As soon as you get down there. Thanks for trying to kill me. See you guys later. You know, I, I I got this game for free from PlayStation Plus, like the first month I owned the PS3 and or four, and I played it a little bit. I'm, I'm starting to wish I'd spent more time with this game earlier. It's a fun game. I've got this thing about playing the games that you get for free off PlayStation Network. I'm like, oh, it can't be that good, can it? No, this game's fun. This game rocks. I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I'm kind of already a little sad that it's it's not that long. I'm most of the way through. Nine out of ten energy upgrades, folks. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly done with this game, and I'm already going to tell. I'm going to kind of miss it when it's gone. Only three quarters of the way done. I mean, we ain't done yet. There's plenty. Don't worry, folks. There's plenty of Strider left. And we'll see a little bit more of that Strider that is left to come. Um, this one's... I'm cutting this a little short. But, yeah, whatever. Cut other ones long. Longer. Thicker. And uncut. Strider. Sorry. That was awful. There'll be more awful humor next time, folks. Poop.